Good afternoon, guys. It's working, bringing you something a little different today. Um, many have asked me about paper trading, and paper trading is by far one of the best things you can do to hone your skills as a trader, and if you're somebody new to getting into trading, to find out if you have what it takes to be a successful day trader. Paper trading, for those that don't know, is basically trading the market uh, with real-time uh, real data. You're trading a real market, real-time data, but you're using fake funds. You're using uh, funny money, basically. And there are many different ways to do that, many different software programs out there. Um, personally, learning to trade myself, I used uh, different programs. The one that uh, that is free, though, that is basically accessible to 99.9% .9 of the people out there, and as I said, is 100% free, and that is TradingView. TradingView is 100% free to join. For those of you in the cryptocurrency community, you know that you're very familiar with TradingView. Uh, TradingView is absolutely free to join. You can free to make an account on there, and their paper trading uh, option is also free. So I would highly recommend doing this, and it happens to be one of the better free ones out there. Now, if you do want to spend a little bit of money, of course, there are some other software programs out there that might be a little bit better. But for the purposes of just learning how to trade and seeing if you have what it takes, there's really you don't need anything more than what TradingView has to offer. So let's dive right in, and let me show you very quickly how to paper trade on TradingView completely free of charge. So now we're looking at, obviously, we're looking at Bitcoin to the U.S. dollar. And this is the typically, obviously, what uh, what a trading view screen is going to look like. And if you look at the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see four different, or excuse me, five different boxes. The box on the far right-hand side says trading panel. You want to click on that trading panel box. And then you're going to see a bunch of different brokers pop up. Now, you can actually link. I don't know if you knew this or not. By the way, disclaimer, guys, I have absolutely no affiliation with TradingView. I get no kickback for this video at all. Um, whether you do this or not, this isn't an affiliate link. This is... I'm just doing this. The reason I created this channel is a way to give back to the community, as most of you know. So I just want to be very clear. I get nothing whether or not you do this. I get absolutely nothing for it. Um, so anyway, just to get that out of the way. So if you look at all these guys, you can actually link, a. Uh, if you do have a brokerage account somewhere, you can link many of them to TradingView directly through an API and actually trade through TradingView. That's obviously not what we're interested in. If you all look at the uh, far left portion of this panel, you'll see it says trading, uh, excuse me, paper trading by TradingView. So you're going to click that. Once you click that, you'll notice that this little icon changes and says paper trading with a little green dot. That lets you know that your paper, paper trading account our paper trading account is now activated. And of course, you can see every all, all the little boxes down here, guys. There's obviously going to be nothing in your positions, nothing in your order because this is a brand new account. But if you click on account summary, you'll notice that your account is now funded with uh, by default with $100,000. Now, this is just the default account. What I would recommend you do, you can actually change this to where it's funded with basically anything you want to. I would recommend you treat this as real as possible. Remember, you practice the way, you're, you're going to play the way you practice. So if you can make this as real Real as possible to your real life situation, it's going to be it's going to hit home and feel a lot more real, and that's going to translate into better trading in the real world when you are trading with real funds. So obviously, everybody is going to be talking, or everyone's going to be starting on different levels. Some people are going to be starting an account with one hundred dollars. Other people are going to be starting on are starting an account, starting to trade with five million dollars. Wherever you happen to be, anywhere between that spectrum. That's where I would recommend you set that that particular balance into this uh, into this paper trading account. So to trick to change that balance, you come over here, and you press on the little uh, you'll see a little people little person icon. You press that icon, you'll see a drop down menu. You're going to see one of the options says reset paper trading account. You click that, and you can see it, you can put in here any balance that you'd like to put in one hundred dollars, one million dollars, five million dollars, whatever it happens to be, whatever you're going to be starting. Um, whatever amount of money you have allocated aside to trade, that's what you're going to want to put in here because again, you want to make it as real as you possibly can. Just for our purposes, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to put in fifty thousand dollars. Okay, and hit reset. Now you can you'll notice my account is now funded with fifty thousand dollars. All right, so let's let's get into trading. Let's we're obviously you can trade any asset. In this case, we're trading Bitcoin to the U.S. dollar. So let me clean this up, and I'm going to or actually I take that back. First thing we need to do is we need to get our buy sell uh, panel. So to do that, you click again the little uh, little icon with the person on it. You'll notice that drop down box. The top box says show buy sell panel. You're going to click that, and the rest you can just ignore. You'll notice when you click that, this little uh, this little box comes on. This buy sell box comes on. 
All right, first let me clean up my, uh, I'm gonna hit this paper trading thing, clean up my, uh, my chart a little bit. Now you can move this box anywhere you like. I personally like to keep it down here so my, uh, my screen is less cluttered. Um, but again, you can move it anywhere you'd like to. And it gives you the, it actually gives you the option of going short or going long. You can buy or sell. Um, with this completely free program. So that's a very nice option that a lot of the free programs don't offer. But you can actually buy or sell. In this case, we're gonna keep it easy. Let's say that we wanna buy Bitcoin. So if I come over here, I just click buy. And as soon as I do, you can see the order box comes up. And it, it offers, just like any other exchange would, it offers you three separate ways to make a purchase. You can uh, do a market order, a limit order, or a stop order. And I'm not teaching you how to trade here, guys, so I'm not going to teach you what the differences are. I'm assuming that you know. Uh, very, very quick recap for those of you that may not. Market order just means it's uh, once you execute a market order, it just means you're going to be buying at whatever the next best available price happens to be. A limit order actually lets you type in an exact price that you would like to buy at. So, for example, we, we can see Bitcoin at $12,566. Let's say I want to buy Bitcoin at $12,100. I think it's going to drop, and when it does drop, I want to buy at that point. I can put in a limit order, put in that uh, 12, uh, whatever I happen to want to, uh, to buy Bitcoin at, $12,100, and execute that limit order. And if and when it does drop there, it'll execute that order. And I can also put in a stop order. A stop order, for those of you that might not know, it's a little bit uh, not quite as common of an order, but that basically is, let's say that I think Bitcoin is hitting up against a major area of resistance. I think that it may reject hard off that resistance, but if it can break above it, I think it's going to continue going up to the upside here. I can actually set a stop order to trigger if price reaches up to the upside at a higher price. So for, let's say in this case, I, I, I want to trigger a, a, a buy order if price can reach up above 13,000. So I can put in a stop order here of, uh, of 13,000 and if and when price gets there, it'll trigger a, a basically trigger a limit order at that $13,000 and it'll try to buy at $13,000. So again, I'm not here to teach you how to trade, but those are the basic differences. So to keep things very, very simple guys, let's just say that I want to execute a market order because it's the easiest thing to do, right? Say I want to execute a market order for Bitcoin right away because I think Bitcoin's going to the moon and I want to get in as soon as possible. Okay, so I come over here, I make sure market order is highlighted. It asks me how much I want to buy. Let's just keep it easy. I can put in anything I want to, but let's keep it easy and say I want to buy one Bitcoin. So that's just fine. We'll leave it at one Bitcoin. And then let's come down here and you can, it actually allows you to put in a take profit and a stop loss. So let's say that I'm buying Bitcoin here and I, I'm, I'm trading it. I'm not going in long. I'm not holding it for the long haul. I actually am, am looking to buy Bitcoin at a particular place and I want to sell because I think it's going to come up to a particular price. So let's say that I think Bitcoin's going to, in this in this instance, I think it's going to rise up to $13,500 and I want to take my profit. In other words, I want to close my position and sell at $13,500. Okay, so I come in here, I check the take profit. And I come in here, you'll notice the first thing says pips. Pips is not something you really use in cryptocurrency. I'm not going to explain exactly what it is. I would, For those of you that are veteran traders, you know. For those that are not, I'm not going to get into it, guys. You can go ahead and look it up. It's not something you really want to be interested in at this point in time and not really relevant, especially for new traders right now. The second, price, the second, uh, second thing down there is price. This is where you're going to put in the take profit. So we want to take profit at $13,500. That's where we think it's going. That's where I want to close my order. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 13,000. And instead of putting 13,500, I'm going to put $13,495 because I'm a good trader, right? And I want to make sure that gets executed. We know everyone's going to be putting in their sell orders at 13.5. I'm going to put it at 13.49. So now I've got my take profit at 13.49. And where do I want my stop loss? Well, Let's say being a good trader that I am, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look at this uh, at this order block, this little microstructure here, and I'm going to look at the swing low of this little microstructure, and I'm going to put my stop loss, being the good trader that I am, right below that wick of the prior uh, um, of this prior structure here. So right below that wick is going to be at about uh, twelve thousand sixty dollars. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put my stop loss, make sure I'm on price, and I'm going to put my stop loss at twelve thousand and $61 because again, I'm a good trader and I like to keep my numbers a little bit odd and make sure they get executed. Okay, so I've got my I've got my market order ready to go at whatever the market price happens to be. I've got my take profit at $13,495 and I've got my stop loss set at $12,061 and 22 cents to be precise. 
it also shows you exactly how much your risk to reward is. So exactly how much your you 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 the potential you have to make profit if it does hit your target. And you can see down here the potential profit in this trade would be nine hundred and sixty dollars. It's fluctuating because it doesn't know what my buy price is at this point because I'm doing a market order, right? So you can see it's fluctuating a little bit, but it'll be approximately nine uh, nine hundred and sixty dollars will be if it does hit my target. And you can also see what I'm risking here. To the downside, if I do get stopped out, if it does hit my stop loss, I would actually lose $472 in this case. So my, my potential reward is $960. My potential risk is $470. Um, so you can see I've got approximately a two to one ratio, which is not the best. You know, typically, you know, typically I'd want at least a three to one. Um, but, you know, it, for our purposes, it's fine. Bottom line is to show you where these numbers are, where the information is, not to show you how to trade. So in this case, everything is where I want it. I've got my take profit set. I've got my stop loss set. We're doing a market order. Everything looks good. So I press this big blue button here to confirm the buy. As soon as I press that, immediately a, a, a market order is placed. And then shortly after that market order is executed. How do I know that it was executed? Well, two things. First of all, I can see right here immediately and I'm going to go ahead and X out of this order block here just to give more screen. So clicking the, click the X. Now you can see right on my screen where I, where I bought, where my, my entry position was. It shows you right here at $12,535.25. That was my entry position. You can see my target, my take profit right up here at $13,495. You can see it sitting here. And you can see my stop loss also marked out for me down here at $12,061.22. If I want to confirm that, I come down here. I click on the paper trading tab. I come over here to positions and we can see now I've confirmed that I bought one Bitcoin. I own one Bitcoin now and uh, it, with my quantity, um, one Bitcoin. And you can also see the average fill price, which was $12,529.23. My take profit, my stop loss. And it also tells you in the far right whether or not my particular position is either in profit or if I'm losing. In this particular case, I'm already $6 in profit. Um, and it'll show you that right there is a very, very easy way to manage your position and to know whether or not right right away whether or not you're in profit or not. You can also come over here and see orders. And you'll see that the order block shows you the order that was filled. Let me get rid of this so you can see a little better. There we go. You can see the order was filled. My market order uh, was filled, says filled. And I've got two other orders here. My, my limit order, that's my target. And then, of course, my stop loss. Both of those, their status on those say working because they're not yet filled. Those targets have not yet get, gotten hit. If and when one of those targets do get does get hit, the other will be automatically canceled obviously. So that's basically how you're going to put in a market order. Now, let me go ahead and close down that paper trading. There we go. Oh, I put on the RSI there mistakenly. Now let's say that I get a little scared here. Let's say that I want to adjust my stop loss or my take profit. I just don't like the way things are going. Or even if price did ha happen to spike here, maybe I want to increase my stop loss so I can do a trailing stop loss here so I can make sure that I'm in profit and I'm not risking nearly as much. So let's say that I do. I want to increase my stop loss because I'm not feeling good, thinking that it might crash. And, or I want to just secure the profits that I have. Very easy to do. I just take my mouse, I click on stop loss, and I, I can move it down or I can move it up just by clicking and holding it. Say I move it up here, let's say I move it up to $12,281. As soon as I release my mouse, we can come over here and that order block o opens up again and it, sh it shows me my adjusted stop loss. And it's asking me basically, do I want to adjust my stop loss to $12,281.04? If that looks good to me, I just click modify. And sure enough, it's as easy as that. My stop loss has been adjusted. That simple. Let's say I want to adjust my take profit. Let's say that I think that uh, it's not going to come quite as high as I'd like it to. But, you know, it's good. I, I do think it's going to come up a little bit higher. So I'm going to adjust my take profit and I can adjust it up or I can adjust it down. Again, the same way. I just grab and hold it with my mouse. I adjust my take profit to wherever I'd like. Let's say in this case, I want to bring it down to $12,915. I release it at that point, And sure enough, I come over here. The order block opens back up again. Do you actually want to adjust my take profit? It says $12,915. Yes, I do. I click modify and it's that simple. I've now modified my take profit and my stop loss uh, to, to exactly where I'd like it. Now, let's say that, for example, that this is really scaring me. I no longer want to be in this position. It looks to me like the market is just going to crash and I just want to get out. Very, very simple. The only, I can close this position either by hitting a limit order and putting in whatever position, I, whatever uh, I would like to do, or I can just make it easier and just adjust my take profit to wherever it happens to be now. Or I can just execute a, a market order very, very quickly, a market sell very, very quickly by coming over here on the position, 
clicking the X button, it says, do you, are you sure you want to close your, your Coinbase Bitcoin USD position? I just click yes, close position. It immediately uh, puts in a or places a market order for a sell at the market price. And then, of course, it gets executed very shortly after that. In this case, I was slightly in profit. You can see as soon as it gets executed, all those little indicators go away. I can come down here. Let me X out of my order block here. I can come down here, click paper trading again, look into my account. I can see all the orders that were canceled, all the orders that were that were actually filled, which basically were just two, my buy order and my sell order. So I can come over here. I can look at positions. I have no more positions because I sold my Bitcoin. Zero orders are active. I've got two filled, two canceled. I've got my history here and I can go to my account summary. And sure enough, on my account summary, it looks like on my trade, I made $41.50 because we can see that my account is now up $41.50. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. I can go into account history. I can see the position that I closed right here and I can actually see the profit that I made or the, the loss that I made. And in this case, I made $41.50 on that very, very quick trade. Notification log over here also just basically tells me what I've done, all the buying and selling that, I've, that I have um, that I happen to have done. It is that simple and selling is exactly the same way. It is just that simple. Now, if let's say that I've completely messed up my account and I just wanna completely start over from scratch and I wanna X out of all this. I just click on the little icon over here, the little guy over here, drop down menu comes down. I hit reset paper trading account. It immediately will come up to that default of $100,000. Of course, as we know, we can adjust it to whoever we want to. I hit reset. And immediately, as soon as I hit reset account, what's going to happen? All my order history is gone. All my account summary is, is gone. And it just comes back to that $100,000. And that's it. Account history disappears. Trading journal disappears. Obviously, uh, positions disappear. And I'm back to square one. It is that simple. Now, but again, I would encourage you not to treat it as simple. I would encourage you to treat this, treat this as real money. If you lose then suck it up and try and increase, try and get back the money that you lost. Treat this as real money. You practice the way you play. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things there. I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. As always, I'd appreciate an upvote. If you have enjoyed this content, also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button down below, guys. And also in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see a little bell. That's a notification bell that lets you know when I do post videos. If you'd like to get notified, you can just click that bell as well. Till next time, guys, trade safe. Take care of yourselves. This is working. Signing out.